Hey guys, it's Bryce here with yet another quick tip. In this quick tip, we will learn how to find the internal volume of your design. In this example, we have a bottle and we want to know how much the internal volume will be when the bottle is filled with water 4.5 inches high. I have created a construction plane 4.5 inches from the lower surface. So let's invoke the boundary fill command. This command is awesome. First select the tools we want to use to cap our water volume. In this case, we will want to use the bottle body and a construction plane. Then we will select the cells. Fusion 360 will automatically find the volumes fully enclosed by my selected tools. We will select the volume which is represented by the liquid in my bottle. The other cells are the top and bottom of the bottle which is calculated from being cut by my construction plane. In this case we want to create a new body which will be our liquid. Once the body is created we can right click on the body and apply water as our physical material. I could measure the volume now, but instead, what if we wanted to see the volume if we raise the water an inch? So we can edit the plane and change the dimension. Notice that the boundary fill will update with the new design change. Next, we will right click on the body and select properties. This will display the volume and mass of the body if we were to use water to fill my bottle. Let's jump to a different example. Now what if I don't have a fully enclosed design? In this case, I want to find an internal volume of this ball valve assembly. I like to use this little trick. I can create an offset plane on the face of the pipe with a zero offset. I will use this to cap my internal volume. I will repeat the process on the other side. Now we will use the boundary fill tool again. Make sure to select all the correct geometry. For hard to reach geometry like the ball component, Hold down the left mouse button for a second and we can use the select other tool to select the body that are hard to reach. Then we can select the cell which is represented by the enclosed volume. Just as before, we will create a new body. Now this is just one of the uses for boundary fill. Try using this tool in other ways by changing the operation type. Well that's the quick tip for today. Until next time, have a great day.